So five minutes in, the Seagulls just trying to pen in their hosts on this near side, the Seagulls left. Furlong getting involved now. Not able to clear just yet. And stepping in there is Hinchelwood. This is Moran. Real chance. Lays it off to Perpion. Hinchelwood with the strike. Oh, Moran surely in for one. There are oh, a great stop from Videk. How on earth has he kept that one out? Moran still going. Well, Moran was at the heart of the good build-up. Lays it off to Perpion. One touch to Hinchelwood with the early strike. And Moran is denied by Vitek scrambling to his right. This is Shoratire trying to get the better of a fire. Moving in field nicely. Picks out a decent ball here to Mainu. Options left and right. Goes out wide left to McNeil. Into Shoratire who continued his run. Oh, and that's an excellent save at the other end from James Beadle. Shoratire, well, he can't believe it. Did everything he needed to there with the header. The layoff is a good one. McNeil with a in-swinging ball. Beadle there to keep it at nil-nil with his legs. Ball then floated down the middle. Oh, and Hansen Aron's unmarked. He's got between the two centre-halves. He's in on goal. Can he beat Beadle? No, he can't. Well, he was one-on-one -on -one there. Another really important stop from James Beadle. Oh, but what's Miller done? Straight to Hansen Aron again. He's gone wide. Well, the Seagulls looked as though they got rid of the first part of danger. Good run from Hansen Aron. In on goal, on the angle. Van Heck can't do enough. Beadle can. And then Miller just floats it straight back to the Norwegian. In swinging corner is a good one. If also Maynard at the back post, he makes no mistake. This time, Beadle can't do anything about that one. Sprawling to his left and Maynard wheels away. Well, there was a flick on there at the front post. It may have come off a Brighton man, perhaps Perpion. And left unmarked at the back post is Maynard, who takes it really well on the half volley. Seagulls win it back on halfway. First time really that United drop in since they opened the scoring. So much space over on this near side for Furlong. We know he can provide an assist. Ball does come into the box low. Ferguson with the layoff on Miller now with a brilliant finish into the top right. It was a great layoff from Evan Ferguson, but that is some finish from Todd Miller. Two in two for him. Well, just look at the space for James Furlong on this near side. It's a clever ball into Ferguson, an Irish counterpart. And the first time layoff from Ferguson, even neater. But what about that finish from Todd Miller? One touch into the top bins. Vitek this time with absolutely no chance. Chance for United to see if they can restore their lead. On this near side, it's Hansen Aaron. Lays it off to Maynard. Rolled across now to Savage with the curling effort. Oh, Beadle was beaten. But for the upright, they would have restored their lead on a plate there. Still had a good amount of work to do. Now then, Perpion just arrowing to the edge of the area. Deaf little clip across. There's no one there at the back post until Miller collects and then delivers. Into Hinchelwood with the header. Oh, Vitek at it again. Fingertip stop from the United stopper. Hinchelwood cannot believe it. Not for the first time, Vitek with a splendid save. A full stretch there to put it behind for the corner. The ball is perfect for Miller. The header's not bad either. Chance then from the corner. Decent delivery. Finds its way over to Tsungi on the edge of the area. Shoratiri gives it back to Moran. That's a decent ball away. It's though is Tsungi. Oh, and Vitek is off balance. And the Albion have the lead for the first time this afternoon. Not the cleanest of strikes, it must be said, but Tsungi doesn't care. Really good delivery in. Flicked away as far as Tsungi on the edge of the area. Shoratire thought he would be able to clear it. And when it falls to Antef Tsungi on the volley, he sends Vitek the wrong way. Now it's Manchester United's turn to try to get back on level terms. Yet to win so far in the PL2. They'll be backing themselves to... Look for their first win under Mark Dempsey this season. Chance here from the corner then perhaps for the equaliser. Yes, Maynou! Oh, it's the second of the game. And for the first time this afternoon brings United level. Well, they have deserved it. It's been a bit topsy-turvy this one. Goals coming from set pieces. Suspicion perhaps of handball. But Maynou cracks on. Good control on the thigh. And then the second touch is to absolutely thump it past Beadle. 
Now United make some good progress on this near side into the box they go and Sungi had to be on hand to nod that one behind for the corner. Not sure quite how much he knew about it, Ansef Sungi. So another corner to defend for the Seagulls. We know what happened last time away by Van Heck. Straight back in there towards Van Heck. Nods it away again for a second time. And now Moran will nod it forward to Ferguson. Oh, look, Vitek's come all the way out. Ferguson's in one-on-one. -on -one. Can he put it into the empty net? Of course he can. Well, Vitek, for all the excellent stops he made in the first half, has got a moment to forget there. And it's given Ferguson the easiest of path to finish to make it Manchester United 2, Brighton have Albion 3. Still needed to knock it past Vitek. The rest was fairly simple for the island under 21. There's the moment where Vitek just jumps over the top of it. And the Seagulls take the lead for the second time this afternoon. Can they hold on? So then, into the last eight minutes we go of the 90. United looking for that level up. The Seagulls looking for their third victory of the season. It'll be the second on their travels if they can hold on. This is Shoratira though. Hangs it up towards Hardley who nods it past Beadle. Beadle at full stretch. But this time was beaten. Well, there's a bit of a melee in the goal. As Sungi looks to protect the ball. He's still got a bit of time here to be played out. The way this game has gone, you wouldn't put it past either side for more goals. Really decent header that from Hardley. The ball in is well placed. Just chipped in towards Hardley. Rises highest and nods it home into the bottom left corner. Beaten to it was Cam Perpion just underneath it. So then into the final knockings here for the Albion. It does seem as though they are just dropping deeper to try and cling on to this point. This is Shoratire on the near side. Over to Nebu, who's already had a brace. Really good block coming in there on the edge of the area. We cycle back out now. It's a fall to the, the right back, Gerardo. Gets it onto the left foot. Oh, Beadle, splendid stop once more. Not for the first time. He's the hero again for the Albion. Look for all the money like that was sailing into the bottom left corner, but for James Beadle again. And the referee blows up for, in the end, what has turned out to be a hard-earned point for the Seagulls. Not too bad a point for Shannon Ruth and Gary Dickers. Second game in charge in the PL2. Goals for Miller, Sungi and Ferguson mean that it finished here 3-all.